this is brocade which is popularly known as damask so i'll be using this for this skirt um, tutorial so as you can see i'm folding the down part of this skirt so here is um already folded into two which is the hip round hip measurement with um the allowance the sewing allowance and every other allowance needed so what i'm having here is 42 inches i needed um 42 inches as a skirt you can see this will save you from um unnecessary um, uh, um lining so what i will do now after folding it i will take my scissors and notch this area where the folding um is starting from so just make sure when you're doing this it's well aligned before notching it so it is accurate when you're cutting out your um your lining after doing that the next thing i did from the starting of the skirt i went down by where this folding ends which is 37 inches and then on this other side i have um 48 inches in total on fold is 48 inches wide so i will be cutting the same lining as the um, wideness and again 37 inches where the folding area stops so while you're doing this just make sure you are um after adding up the half an inch that you'll be using to you know you have to add, add an half an inch to the lining that will be 37 inches in total which is the length so which i already did so now i'll just be um sewing this on a straight line and then i'll be coming back to show you how it is looking so here is it the outcome after um joining it at what i just did is joining it on the wrong side you remember i notched it so when you finish joining it on the down part you you fold the lining upwards to the upper side so it aligns with where you notch and then you iron it before sewing the upper area so this is just how best you can do this so afterwards you cut it you cut out the back panel which i already did and the front panel so this is the front panel now where it is unfold while this is the down i mean the back part of the skirt so i added like um one and a half to two inches before you know the front the center front so as you can see so i'll be working with waistline of 29 inches and um um hip line of 40 inches so here is um the waistline so i'll be adding the circumference dividing it into four whatever it gives you you add it up and then you had your sewing allowance to it and then you had your dart allowance as well so um this from this um this is a highway skirt and i will be going down by nine inches so remember we already stitched the upper side also with the lining which is not going to be having and this skirt is not going to be having any um band so that is just it about this skirt so for the hip is 40 inches so i'll just be adding um one inches to this one to two inches so you can see so that's 10 inches plus one extra one inches for sewing allowance which is 11 inches so now what i'll just do i'll connect it from the hip line downwards to the upper waistline so that's all about that so on the down part i'll go to the extreme end i'll just be connecting it straight down to this point but before doing that remember the hip line we have 11 inches so you subtract it by one inches on the down part make sure it is the um, extreme end of the skirt so i'm just make sure what i'm just doing here is i'm making sure both the linings and the um, brocade if you know how brocade fabric is is always shaking so what i'm just doing here is just making sure everything is in line and accurate before you know cutting anything out here and this is also where you can um insert your pins this is where you can bring your pins in to pin it down just to secure it so then i'll be connecting it from this hip line now downwards to the end of the skirt 
so after connecting it just make sure everything is um accurate before cutting it out so i'll take the scissors now and start cutting it out so guys a quick one remember i had the allowance for the dart at the upper side which is the waistline so i'm not going to be putting any dart on the front it's just the back i'll be adding the dart so after joining the dart for the back remember i already added it on both sides so you remove you you cut out the excess on the front waistline before joining both um back and the front together so it looks accurate i hope you all understand what i just said so after doing this the next thing i will be doing now is the down part of the back skirt which is the slitted part of this skirt which is going to be you know this is a pencil skirt and um it has slits at the back end so note that from your upper waistline to your um upper knee line is 18 inches which is which i just outlined now and um, this is where your the slit i'm making will be starting from so let me just go again so remember the hip line is nine inches and we have extra nine inches so let me just go down by one inches because um i'm working with um a slit and then i will be needing some inches for sewing allowance in this area so you go in on this part by one inches remember we have um two inches on this down area so you go in by one inches and then you connect it using your ruler from that 18 inches downwards so you can you know go up depends on your preference on how long you want your slit to be so this will give your um skates that beautiful view at the back um and it won't be gaping while one is um going one side and the other one will be going the other way around so i'll be showing you the end result i will join this on the wrong side and then i'll flip it back to the right side before you know joining the both skirts together so i'll be, just be joining this with one, one half an inch and then i'll come back and show you all how it is looking and this is the final result you can see how beautiful this is looking the pencil skirt is really penciling and the slit is also giving that vibe so that is how it is you can see it, this tutorial is just all about how you can achieve a neat lay um, view underneath which is the back side of your dress that is the lining you can see how lovely the dart is also looking this is the front part i did not put any um that at the front part you can see how neat it is looking and how accurate it is also looking at the down part so that will be all for this um tutorial i hope you all enjoy this tutorial so far kindly give it a thumbs up subscribe you can see the inside how lovely the down part you can see what i was trying to explain the other time so if you enjoyed this video so far kindly give it a thumbs up subscribe and like comment below where you're watching it from and until i see you again in the next one turn on the notification bell to get notified when i upload a new one so guys bye